Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading and this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take the parts that do resonate and if it does not, leave the parts that do not resonate as those may be meant for someone else. Okay, I'm going to use my original tarot. If you're interested in any of the links, any of the cards I'm using, the links are down below. <laughs> Almost got that one backwards, right? All right, so what's going on with Capricorn. Okay, we have the two of pentacles, we have the page of cups, and we have the moon. So we also have the infinity sign, which represents individual empowerment and everlasting love. Um, page of cups, which is emotions and feelings. I have a feeling that something new has happened and you're not really sure how to feel about it. I feel like something has changed or something has become off balance. Like there's some sort of new emotion or feeling. Something new that you are experiencing, but you're not really sure how to feel about it. You're not sure how to process it. You're not sure how to deal with it. All right, so what does Capricorn cards are like being crazy and I bent that one. Ah, okay, so we have the death card. So kind of bending and folding and falling out and all over the place. And so that could have to do with your emotions that you're feeling too, is that you're feeling all over the place. And it's just like, okay, what do I do? Everything seems like a mess. So what do you need to look at as we have the death card? So that could represent Scorpio. We have the Fool. Look at that. I love that. Because the Death card is heading right towards the Fool card. And then what else does Capricorn need? Powerful. I love it. I love the Magician. I think that's that might be like my second favorite card. My first favorite is a Hangman because that's about taking a step back and seeing things from a different perspective. But the Magician represents being powerful and look at that we also have the infinity sign above his head so there is that repeating energy there so I feel like what you need to look at is even though this is something new or some, so this is something difficult or this is something that you are unsure about is it's almost like to embrace this change that is heading your way and maybe it's because you are making a shift within yourself because what you need to look at is the death card, the fool, and the magician. And these are three major cards here. And it's that change that you're going through. And I feel like it's like you're getting rid of baggage. Because the fool here only has this light little pack here. Like he's packed light for his trip. And I feel like it's you having getting rid of some baggage here, of some things that are going on here that have been affecting you, um, some energy, some people, some situations, some triggers, like whatever those things are that represent to you. I feel like you're getting rid of those. You're purging those. You're letting those go. You're packing light. Um, I feel like you're now getting more in control. It's almost like you're getting rid of the clutter so you're able to focus on what's important. It's just like when you clean out your closet. Like you get rid of the things that, you know, you're not wearing or you're it's not in style or it's like you don't want to have anymore and it's like paring down your closet to what it is that you're going to use on a regular basis and that is what it is that you like and I almost feel like that's what's going on here with this situation is that you're paring things down like you're releasing things with the death card as you're letting things go and then you're packing lighter so that it's like you can accomplish more things when you have less things like the fool packs light so that he can travel a long distance and I feel like it's you're unpacking things and you're letting go of things so that you're not carrying all of these things around you so that you can explore more so that you can handle more, so that you can do more. And by doing that is giving you that individual empowerment and that strength and that confidence to say, yeah, like I can handle things because I'm not carrying around all of these things with me. Okay, so what energy wants <laughs> to come in for Capricorn? 
what energy wants to come in for Capricorn? What energy wants to come in for Capricorn? <coughs> They're just flying out. I'm just waiting until they fly out, and then those are the ones that I know that want to come out. So the energy that wants to come in for you is the Nine of Pentacles and the Five of Swords and the Lovers. So I love it. I love it. It's beautiful energy. I'm very excited for you. Knight of Pentacles, the horse is standing, um, or you'll see the horse doing a very low, like slow walk, but it's heading towards positive things, and I feel like it's heading towards opportunities. I also feel like like the Knight of Pentacles is looking right at that Five of, of Swords saying, and the Five of Swords, he's like, hey, I'm not dealing with those people anymore. I'm walking away from those things. Like, I don't need to worry about this anymore. That I'm focusing on other things. I've got other things on my plate. We also have the Lovers, which I feel like is that love and that contentment within yourself. It also could be surrounding yourself with those people that are here to support you, not the people that are turning their back on you. I also feel like it could be a new relationship that's coming in for you. I feel like it could be a stronger connection for you for the relationships that you do have. Um, I feel that definitely like this may be something that is kind of throwing you off balance, but I feel like look at where you're headed towards. Both of these horses, the Death card and the Knight of Pentacles, are both moving in this progress towards the future, but it's like these things, it's almost like the fool is saying, be here now in this moment and pack light, right, for your trip, and the magician is facing this way, so it's like be here now in this energy and walk away from that energy and focus on the lovers, right, what you have right in front of you, loving those things that you have right in front of you, so I do feel that it's that shift of letting things go, but moving towards new things, but seeing it as something that is positive and to embrace it and not be worried about it. Okay, so let's get some final cards here um, for Capricorn. I'm going to get these. Again, the cards are being crazy. We have Temperance. What other final messages do we have here for Capricorn? I love it. I love it. I love it. It's embrace the change. Um, we have the temperance. You have so many major cards here. Like I love it because you have the moon, the death, the fool, the magician, and the lovers, temperance, emperor wheel. I mean, this, this is a strong message for someone, right? Um, temperance represents Sagittarius. The emperor is Aries. The lovers is Gemini. Um, death card is Scorpio. The moon is Pisces. So it's a lot of people that are surrounding. You could be shifting those people that you have around you. Temperance is about compromise. It's about being patient. And I also feel that the way this card is displayed, it's like that freedom, that lightness. Again, I feel like that goes almost with the same energies as the fool, as that freedom and lightness. The emperor facing right towards you like the magician. Again, I feel like that is repeating energy where it's that strong energy that is right in front of you and feeling powerful, feeling magical, feeling like you're in control. And then we have the wheel, which is that change, right? I also, f I kind of feel like that's connecting back with the moon where it's saying, like with the circle, is that you're not really sure where this change is heading, but you're knowing that it's headed towards a good place. And then we have the circle hill with the pinnacle. So I feel like it's that change of maybe not knowing and then feeling confident and strong and um, that the wheel is progress because the wheel is movement. So moving towards positive things. Um, not sure where it's going, but still feeling confident in what's happening. Okay, so I have my um, numerology guidance cards. So I'm going to pick a couple of these. So what wants to come in for um, Capricorn Okay, what else, anything else that's to come in for Capricorn? We have personal growth. I love it. Number seven, personal growth. I love it. We always love personal growth because I feel like that's what we're always trying to attain and do. We have number 46, which is domestic harmony, which is those relationships 
that you have around you, that they feel harmonious, that there's love, that there's partnership, that there's communication, right? Domestic harmony is walking away from the relationships that aren't working for you and you, you've, you're you stepping away. You're saying, okay, I'm setting those boundaries. And then we have the lovers, which is those relationships that are working for us and we're surrounding, you're surrounding yourself with those relationships. Okay, so let's get a Star Dragons card for this reading for Capricorn. Star Dragons card for this reading for Capricorn. What do we have? We have effort, conquering your demon. So again, that is, I feel like this is, I don't feel this is, is as, as negative energy, but I feel like it's that feeling of uncertainty, but it's like facing those, right? Like bringing those to the light so that you could see what's going on so that you know what you're working with. And then let's grab an animal oracle for this reading for Capricorn. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love the little squirrel. We have believe in yourself, which is extremely important because without that, none of this works, right? None of this happens. When you're not believing in yourself, when you're not having faith in yourself, is that you're carrying all of this baggage, you're stuck in the death energy, um, you're carrying, you're just feeling heavy. Um, so believing in yourself that you are confident and you are strong and that you are going through this process for this personal growth to have this harmony in your life and to achieve these goals that you are looking for. Okay, and then final card, let's grab a fortune reading card. I like getting all the different cards, all the different messages. We have lovers. Again, lovers, relationships. There are two paths ahead, be true to yourself. So which path do you want to go on, right? That's what I was just saying is about believing in yourself, the path of sometimes it's difficult to go through these changes. Sometimes it's scary, right? paths ahead, conquering your demons, right? Having to conquer those is something that can be heavy. It can be difficult. It can be trying. It can be scary. And maybe that's why you're feeling this unsettledness is because you are trying to conquer your demons, that you are trying to set your boundaries, that you're trying to pack light. And that can be something that can be very trying. And the paths two paths ahead so which one is it that you're being true to yourself that you need to follow all right thank you so much for watching as always stay positive stay safe and i will see you next time